Oh no! Oh no! I see. I see. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to turn the mic on. Well, that's a very embarrassing. I'm going to have to do that whole bit again. I'll do my whole spiel again. So, uh, you guys will catch up in a moment, I think. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I forgot to turn the mic on. It's a, a massively rookie error. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying out the new camera rig. It looks like a, an ISIS hostage video, and it is not that. I realise it's very dark. I just put an LED on my black magic. Um, the idea is with the black magic, when we do streams from now on, we could do proper lighting and use lenses and stuff like that. Um, so, so there we go. Yeah, we got our sound. Cool. Cheers, guys. Thank you for that. Uh, so, as I was saying, it, mute. I'm not being held hostage by ISIS. I'm working on some editing at home for some projects, and I just wanted to do this to blow some steam. Uh, this game is called Trepang 2 which is an Unreal Engine game, which is basically kind of a knockoff of the Fear franchise. If you've ever played Fear, it's kind of a Matrixy, bloody gutsy, first-person shooter series. So there's a free demo of that. The game's in early access. I don't think it's available yet to play, but this free demo is out, and uh, you can play it, and I'm going to do that now. Uh, I will just say, guys, because I, I, this is kind of all on the fly, I'm going to make sure that the Crisis on Infinite Richards, I'm going to make sure that the uh, audio isn't like deafeningly loud for you guys. So let me just make sure the desktop audio is. Okay. Apologies for the roughness. It's the ring meets Max Payne. Yeah, I mean, yeah, true. And, uh, well, so is fear, really. Fuck me, this game is loud. I had a few issues uh, getting my levels right today with this game. Okay, you gonna, you gonna behave, you gonna do what I say? Just tell me if it's too loud, guys, or whatever, and I, and I, will, I will fix. Okay, here we go. Stock footage. Spooky, spooky stock footage. It's not that spooky, is it? It's fucking Invato Elements or something. Oh, sorry, Hobo Joe. Yes, exactly. No, no, Joe, you're absolutely right. Yeah, sorry. And this is just a knockoff of that. So, uh, yes, Hobo Joe. Uh, it was. It had even had the spooky little girl in it, didn't it? And everything. Um, to my computer so I can see it. The game is quite loud. Okay. Gonna bring that all the way down. I hope that's a bit better. Do keep me updated. Okay. Okay, I've taken it down so hopefully Hopefully that's a bit nicer. Tell me if it's too quiet now, because uh, I might have done that. So um, here I am. It's a pretty fine looking game, considering, you know, it's not a huge team or anything. Um, you can go invisible. And you can also do the slow-mo stuff from fear. And what, what I'm really looking forward to is when you get the shotgun and you can just start like blowing people's legs off and stuff. But it starts off very, it's all very subtle to begin with. It's all very quiet, you know. Got them little anamorphic lens flares there. Look at that. That's all very nice. Yeah, suckers. Suckers. Well, so the music's a bit like the soundtrack to Dread. I know I keep bringing everything back to fucking Dread, but, um. Ooh! Yeah, so this wouldn't uh, let me do the usual window capture stuff. I had to, I had to do a display capture, which is why you got the kind of crazy 
OBS Inception shit going on. So, um. Okay. Whoa, fuck. Whoops. 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 Go invisible. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So yeah, if you've got a machine that can run this, I recommend it. It's great fun. Don't know when the game's coming out. I saw it uh, on someone else's YouTube channel. I think G-Man Lives did a video on it ages ago. I was like, hey, I like fear. Also, I got the fear games on... Um, I'm playing keyboard and mouse right now. I got the Fear games on Steam, and they don't have joypad support, which is irritating to me because I like to sit in front of the TV and play. Yeah, I know. Come at me. I'm not a true gamer or whatever. Just stop killing subjects, you dicks. Here we go. Here we go, lads. I don't know why picking up a gun means you can remove the restraints. Expert stealth boy. Let's cook some fools. Oh, no. It's a little bit of jank because you know it's an unfinished game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, man's got a slide. Whoop! So far, so fear. Look at the big yellow door. Oh no, it's, it's, it's the yellow doors everywhere. Spooky doors. Oh, bleach. Get out of here, bleach. Get out of here, cleaning products. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's right. That's the true story of this game. One man's war on cleaning products. Oh, a bit of health. Do I need that, though? Is that any use? Just done a slide into a tunnel for no reason. This is Fox Trot. We're investigating a maintenance tunnel. Mm -hmm. Chodes. I just like sliding into everything now, and now I can do that. Woo! Check this out. Wow! Sucker. No, you don't. Don't exaggerate. Whoa. See? Another blood and gut start. Wait till I get the shotgun. You can literally just sort of blow people into chunks of hamburger. It's fucking brilliant. Man, Herbo Joe, I say, I, I say just give it a go, man. I reckon see what you can get away with. Um, okay. Okay. Sneaky boy. Sneaky boy. It's very smooth, and I don't know if they're stock assets, but the, the graphics are really nice. And it plays very much like, you know, proper fear, which is which is cool, because um, it's arguable that that series lost its way a little bit. Yes, so, uh, Homo Joe, the shotgun in this game is... 
You don't get Kimbo with pistols, pistols annoyingly, but it is the shotgun from Fear. It's the Spaz 12. Behaves in pretty much the same way. You can run around disavowing people. It's pretty great. I might, I might stream some Fear sometime. <laughs> well, hello, beautiful. Uh, oh, I do like my pistol, but fuck it. Let's... It's also great to sort of kick people across the room in slow motion and then just blow them to pieces. Oh, you can take the lights out as well, which is actually quite important in a little... Hey everybody! <laughs> Whoa, shit. There we go. Now we've now we've started, lads. Now we've started. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, blowing people's limbs. <laughs> Pile of guts. Um, yeah, you can. You can blow arms and legs off and heads and things. Uh, it's, I'll show you. Look, this guy. Lad's got his leg off. There's one for good measure. It really is grotesquely violent. And uh, hey, that's what all the best video games are, aren't they? Well, not necessarily. But you get my drift. Now am I going? Oh, I came from this way. Right. Let's not get lost, Richard. Let's not get lost. My phone in the way of the thing. Uh, mm -mm -mm, just checking some comments. I don't think it's. It is pretty. The dismemberment. I wouldn't say it's full Soldier of Fortune. It's pretty close. I think. Um, and there's options. It seems to turn. That kind of stuff up a bit and i was worried it might be game breaking so i just left it at default options which is still pretty fucking bloody so my, my setup today isn't great for looking at the, at the chat um but it is here some ricky o shit yeah absolutely oh cheeky monkeys hey boys That'll do it, lads. That'll do it. How many shotgun rounds, though, I reckon? Oh, well, I got a few. I got a few. Okay. Let's keep on trucking, lads. So I shot the fire extinguisher to make that, that explosion, in case you're wondering. Oh no, it's spooky time! There's some spooky shadows, I think, that chase me. Spooky time. No, not the doors. I love doors. You know I love doors. You can't... This is so a copy-paste from fear as well, like the locker rooms. Oh no! Oh no! Forgive my cynicism. So yeah, if you... You can take out the lights, which is really useful. Because in a minute, this this kind of prelude, it turns into like a a, a gauntlet. And, and you get thrown in a big room, you just have to kill a bunch of guys over and over and over again. Um, oh, hello. Hello, sunshine. Oh, I didn't shoot the fire. I should have shot the fire extinguisher, really. Let's see if we can blow these guys up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we can. What the fuck? Oh, that was him. Okay. Keep on trucking, my lads. Hey, man. That's right. Oh, 
both arms. Nasty. Just gonna need a plaster. Right then. Whoa! Any grenades? No, I don't. Hoo hoo! Oh shit! <laughs> run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Woo! Let's go hide for a bit. Christ Jesus, that was hairy. Woohoohoo! This, by the way. Is not the gauntlet to which I was referring earlier. This is a this is a separate thing. Ha. Oh, we got a super chat. Oh shit, Sam, thank you so much. Films you used to like, now dislike. Films you used to dislike, but now like. Ah, uh, oh god, that's really hard. Uh, oh, god, I hate those. I, I really suck at those kind of questions. Um, but. We're in Super Chat Town, so I, I got a, I got an answer. Oh God. Um, uh, uh, okay, let me think about that because there's definitely examples of that. Um, let me see. I used to like the Austin Powers films very much when I was younger. Uh, the first two. Now I can't stand them. I just find them so weak and I used to think they were so so good um, things I didn't used to like but now I like there's certain stuff I've come around to and I can't really think what at the, off the top of my head um, but I'll tell you what in particular um, Alien 3 I, I used to really dislike Alien 3 and all its flavours but having kind of had a go over the work print cut again recently it's so much better it's such a stronger film um, so I hope I hope that answers your questions. They're kind of weak examples. I'm very sorry, um, but if I think of more as I go, I will avail you of I will avail you of them. So here we go. We got some story. Someone left some story lying around. Look at all this story. Ah, lovely stuff. Right. Yeah, look at this fucker. Let's have this fucker, shall we? Or has it got like dick all ammo? Is that the is that the scheme? Yeah, yeah I'll take it. It's fun. Comes the farmer with his gun, gun, gun. Oh. Yeah, that'll that'll do it, man. That'll do it. You will defend Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes to the death. Okay, interesting. I would like to hear that explanation. Fair play to you, like, you know. But, uh, yeah, no. I give that no truck myself. Uh, no, I don't have a tremendous amount of ammo. Aha. Uh -huh. One time, they'll freak out. Whoa.
Where's your mate? Where's your mate? I think I shot that guy in the dick. Don't feel great about that. Uh, Tim Burton, I, I, yeah, Tim Burton's version of Planet of the Apes is closest to the novel just, but that doesn't make it a good film, in my view. Like, yeah, I, 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 get, I get what you're saying, and it's still not that close to the novel, because um, there's no time travel in the novel, for example. Well, it kind of is, there's time dilation, I suppose, time travel, but, um, I'm not buying it, man. It's just not an entertaining or interesting film. The Rick Baker's makeups and stuff in that are incredible, though. I really believe that Mark Wahlberg had sex with a chimp. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. I mean, I never thought the first Planet of the Apes film was the best Planet of the Apes film, anyway. I like Escape and Conquest, that's where it's at for me. And Rise of Planet of the Apes, I really fucking like. I think it's way better than the ones that followed it. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Christ, that'll hurt in the morning. Ooh. They are furiously angry. That'll do it. That'll do it. Sorry, it's hard for me to respond to the chat too much because uh, it's all very action packed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not saying, I don't think the, the ending to Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes makes perfect sense. It's just not particularly, it's executed badly, I'd say. It's just that Abraham Lincoln thing is just silly. Um, and then it doesn't really earn that ending either. I mean, it makes perfect sense, yeah. But again, that doesn't therefore make it a good film. And it's just for the sake of having a twist, because the original had a twist. Like they, ha they have to, but they can't do the same twist again. Exactly. Anyway, I've missed most of this conversation, I feel. Right, so the thing to do here is take all the lights out, because this section gets fucking mental. That's gonna get some grenades. Hey, boys. Oh shit! Oh shit, son! Oh damn. Okay. Focus. Focus. <laughs> A metal filing removed from your eyeball. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, no, I can imagine this is probably making you a bit edgy. I wouldn't blame you for that at all. 
<laughs> did I just get all of Sierra 1 with two grenades? I think I did. That was a big turnaround from last time. Bring it on, Sierra 2. Oh, where are Sierra 2 before I get cocky? Oh, fuck. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, sucks to be Sierra too, I guess. Oh, shield boy. Ha. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, yeah, okay. Good. Let's have it, Sierra 3. Tense, 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 tense. Okay, Sierra 3 are doing a much better job. Okay. I need to run away. Get the house, get the house. Woohoo! Okay. I just kicked his arm off. I'm not I'm not complaining, man. Sort of hide in the lift from them. Classic textbook Sierra 3. Hey guys, enjoy those. Hey man. Okay, Sierra 4. Didn't do much there. So that now the guy's gonna come. Daddy's coming. Daddy's coming himself. Fuck it. The rest of you and me. We'll take him out ourselves. Yes. <laughs> yes, 99% in growing deficit, 1% in environments. It's very much like the original fear, because the original fear was mostly just officers. Man, they're shouting flare a lot. Whoa! 
what is that guy wearing? Hey, fuck you, mate. I'm hiding behind this pillow forever. Pillar. Pillar forever. Yes. Oof. Rescue team has secured the LZ. So that's GTFO lads. Where's the bloody exit? Ah oh, bollocks. Where's the exit? Officially been round in one big. Ah, there we go. There you go. There you go. Uh, Sam Montgomery says, when I was a little kid, I used to like Star Wars 1 to 3, but then I rewatched them for 7. I'll tell you what, Sam, actually, a film that, um, a film that I, I find quite hard to watch now is Predator. So I just think the internet's ruined Predator. Um, I think talking about it has become a chore. It's a great movie, but like talking about it has become a chore. Being involved has become a chore. You're just constantly being fed Predator information. And that, um, yeah, that does my head in. I came around to Valerian as well. Valerian, I'll give you another one to tell. Valerian, I actually really quite liked. I, I, the first time I watched it, I just thought it was eh. The second time, I just kind of liked it. I thought it was a big, mad kind of French cartoon. I don't know, I was into it. There's that. Now, so the, the story mode here is over. However, last time I did this, it pinged off into some other level. I can't remember what I did. I just escaped. It gave me some, some bonus content. Mm -hmm. See, this isn't over yet, and it's kind of hanging there. Which is, which is weird. Come on, Trey Pang. You can do it, Trey Pang. I believe in you. Uh, yeah, Valerian is no fifth element. Absolutely. Yeah, so look, you just get kind of dropped into this extra bit of... I'm resistant to call it story, but... Uh, Oh yeah, and this section introduces like fucking zombies as well, which is ultra weird. Uh, Aloof, uh, Aloof Alien asks, what's this game about? Unclear, unclear, um, Aloof Alien. It, it's sort of a take off, take off of fear. I'm not really sure what the plot is. See, like, pistol headshots on this are very satisfying. No, oh, I want pistol headshots. Off the good head. Yes, he has. Oh, oh yeah, of course you can grab enemies as well. Take a hostage. Oh, just whack them out. No loyalty, is there? No loyalty. Where's my shotgun? Where's that lad's shotgun? Oh, bloody hell, Richard. I'm not going to lose a pistol though, because I do quite, I do, I do jolly rather enjoy the pistol. Uh, so when I'm done here, I have to go and edit a video for a kitchen company that I'm working for. That's what my Sunday's been. I've been breaking up, doing motion graphics for a kitchen design company, and then uh, I have to and explain a video for a um, exhibition stand company who I'm going to be. They're going to be playing my content on screens at an expo in Manchester this week that I'm going to be at. My life is exciting! I have an exciting life. Let's open the door. Open the dow. Yeah, keep your machine gun. Maybe catch some pistol 
boy. Captain Pistol Boy. I mean, this guy's had his arms and legs blown off for us. It's quite nasty, isn't it? Superpowers, I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, I should have reloaded that before I charge and start shooting people. What's that guy's head go, Orange? Sorry, mate. God, I'm a monster. Let's go. Let's go. There's just another security door, right? Mm -hmm. Is it you? Are you? Do you come with the car? It's going to be a very undignified video to watch back because it's just my big sort of pink head under that light. But it's quite exciting. My camera's been running there for quite a while, which means the battery pack is working that I've just fixed onto it. And it also means have proper camera stuff for streams now which is good it's a, a, a goal we've been trying to get to for ages have i found i've just walked out of the game <laughs> i appear to have just walked out of the game that's that's new that's new i've left the boundary of the game all right let's not walk off the edge are we glitching how bad are we glitching today feels like we're glitching oh man i've fallen out of the game that okay <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't even know if I can kill myself. Wait, I can load last save, right? Last checkpoint. The jank is real, my friends. The jank is real. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think maybe. Mm, righto. Right, well, I think the error I have to go is that way. This is new. This is new. Okay, yeah, this is the area that I have to go to, so that's fine. This is a bit of a shit, actually, because the guys appear up there and it's a big, bloody great slope that you can't do out about, so. Oh, also, there's these kind of like armed zombies in this game. That was a weird one. Jank. Okay, we're, and we're good. And we're good. I begrudgingly take a machine gun. I just want everyone to know that I'm doing begrudgingly.
can't remember what Okay. Okay. I made a very squelchy noise there. That sounded like I got something. <laughs> Rude. Yeah, man, I'm sure they're fine. Hey, Nikki's in the room. Hey, man. Stream. I won't. I won't play. Lots of chunky salsa. Hears him, but I can't, uh, I can't see him. Let's walk up to an invisible chuck grenade in their face. Hey guys. Oh, 
hello to you too. go uh, so I'm probably gonna have to log off because I've got um, I don't think that was a particularly long maybe I could do so I'll do a little bit of horde mode I'll do a bit of horde mode I've got to go back to work in a minute um, that would be the responsible the responsible response uh, let's do a little bit of horde and I can just sort of go and kick some more guys guts about I was very much enjoyed that man's torso flying across the room <laughs> that was a fun time Yes, it is a very grey game, um, and I get and again more like the original Fear. The original Fear was very grey, and I think it's lovely to carry on that aesthetic. But I agree, I think more colour would be good. Okay, yes, we know it's not over yet. It's funny that they they seem you don't seem to have a slide kick from Fear unless just sliding into people automatically. I think sliding into people automatically just makes them fuck off. But like the the rest of it, the, the way it handles, the way it looks, it's so 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 like fear. Um, you know, I've got no idea if and when it's coming out. Right, give me some, give me some horde mode, motherfuckers. Yes, yeah, so let's just chuck me back here again. So if we go start your game, I did accidentally. I got distracted by this game yesterday and ended up playing loads of horde mode. It's a bit naughty. Right, here we go. jump and crouch and kick at the same time as it moves. So now you can just slide into them and smash them up. Hey Adrian! Cheered me up through some anxiety. Well, shit Adrian, that, that's very humbling. Oh god. <laughs> Thank you very much for the donation. That's very, very sweet. I'm glad you could help. There's more stuff, more stuff coming. We haven't got any um, commentaries recorded at the moment, but we'll meet up. Meet We're about to run out of episodes as well. Next episode, uh, we've done a sort of Tomorrow's episode is random, it's just a discussion about like working through lots of the film industry and then the week after we'll be done a couple of Superman and might be to a bunch of people. Um, so thank you Adrian, that's very, very generous of you. I'm glad we could help in some way. Streaming Doom Eternal as well because that's a. Oh, I really want that pistol with us. Fuck now. Oh wow, I literally don't know. I have nothing else. What really? How's that? Okay. My phone is in front of my ammo camera so I can see the chat. Let me go check it out. Yeah, so Resident Evil 3 is going to be wicked. Oh, Cannot wait. Bang bangs. I watched the Predator again the other night. I just had to. Ivan hadn't seen it, so I thought it'd be funny to watch it. Um, I think we might do a commentary on that because fucking hell, fucking fucking hell. Oh, 
right, fuck. I did see pot again soon. I did see pot uh, back in the Twitch days. That makes us three for three on headshots. Say so what? Uh, yeah, Predators is great. I had the conversation with them. Alex Ewing earlier about that. Predators is great. It doesn't try and reinvent the wheel. I, mean, I do think there's only so much you can do with the Predator characters. And I'm sorry, that kind of annoys people, but... We are contact! I don't, there's been so many attempts to sort of do that justice. And I just think that the concept's that interesting. Bro! Bro! Yeah, I've never, I've never got Predator 2. I never got it. It's just always, and again, I've said this before, but it's about a bunch of people solving a mystery we already know the answer to. So it's like, well, I just don't, I can't see how that's exciting. Oh! The predator killer scene, fucking hell. I, it was great, because Ivan was pre prepped for how bad it was on Friday night. When we it. It I think, I think it was last week. Um, so he knew what was coming, but fuck me. I remember sitting in the cinema just being like, what is this? 
Madam, it's been fucking Christmas. It's very charred. I'm sure my shotgun didn't turn his head into that California raisin, but you know, who am I to say? Oh shit, we got his shotgun round left. That's not good. Ooh. Nobody move! They'll just blast through them anyway, the fucking turncoats. Go hostage. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I need to... What? I could have sworn it was... Okay. Hey, look. Yeah. Oh, right down the eye visor. Whole thing. Oh, well. That was less dramatic than I'd hoped. Hey, man. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? Oh, no. Oh, no, I still have friend. Sucks to be you. So I do find that odd in this game. It's very difficult to tell when you're hostage is no longer a hostage. So it seems to just sort of vanish. You don't get much of a cue for the fact that they are no longer uh, in your possession. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get... Get the fucking rifle, man. Oh, fine. Fucking get the rifle! Yeah, the nice guys is great. The nice guys is really good. And I'm, yeah, I'm certain Fox fucked with the Predator. I'm not saying it was amazing to begin with, but. Oh no. Zombie boys. Oh, I've barely dented my grenades. Oh, yeah. Free. Free load, man. Reload. Reload.
Kill a zombie. Oh. 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 Wave 12, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. I think the thing with that <laughs> AVPR and uh, right, AVPR and the Predator share a setting, which is odd. I don't think anyone can the fact that it's already a bad idea. Yeah. One go left. Oh, I just went for the next one. Oh. Motherfuckers, right there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good work, mate. Fucking hell. Been special forces in, or whatever the fuck you are. Oh, wave 13, that's all right, isn't it? That ain't too bad. Um, let's get out of here. Right. Right. That, I think, my dears, is it. I've got to get back to work, really. Enjoy this uh, horrifying inception of ABS there. Uh, and again, my sort of hostage video in the corner here. Um, so, yeah, thank you all for coming. Let's have a quick check of the chat <laughs> yes no sticking around today I've, uh, I've I've got to get off I've got to go back to work so um, I hope you enjoyed that silly violent tech demo thing um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the stream off and uh, we'll be back with a proper stream soon with proper stream streams more content coming uh, and I love you very much Good day, good evening, good night, and goodbye.